hello friends welcome to another video on my youtube channel and in this video i will show you how you can deploy your next js application on google cloud platform cloud run service i'll walk you through the process of you know this uh, deployment so let's get started So recently I have, you know, built my own portfolio website. It was very long overdue. So what I'll do is that first I'll show you that the application is running okay, on localhost and you can see a few things and you can see I have this, you know, sections as well, which are working. Uh, download resume contact me my github and some things about me and the skills uh, here I have used you know YouTube API to get the latest video that I upload uh, I have one course on dialogue flow essential version how to build chat boards it is there and you know 22 students have enrolled and I have gotten like 4.7 review uh, that are get in touch and the form this form at this point it doesn't do anything but I'll you know update this as time goes by so uh, you can see the application is running locally without error so the first thing I will do is that you know I'll check if the application builds successfully or not uh, for that I'll use pnpm build command you can use npm run build or any other command yarn I'll show you my uh, packet.json file you can see I have dev next dev build next build start next star and lint next lint so nothing fancy in the scripts and you can see it is you know uh, let's wait for a yeah, second you can see the build is successful now I can run this and if I come here and refresh this you can see this is working smoothlessly okay very smoothless yeah so you can see the application is running okay and I'm satisfied with the application so the next step is to go to Google Cloud platform here I am on my Google Cloud platform console and I have selected the project on which I want to work and then I'll search for cloud run and here in the cloud run you will see this kind of interface where you can deploy existing container write a function or you know manage custom domains as well and connect a repo so for this demonstration i'll click on connect repository then you know there are a couple of options okay you you know get your image from docker hub or gcp artifact registry or you can you know employ something like continuously deploy ci cd pipeline and inline editor to write your function so i'll select continuous uh, deploy from repository and for that i need to set up cloud build uh, the first time you see this because since you know i have attached my github but the first time you see it you need to connect your github profile with gcp i have done that that's why i see this and when i click here i see all the repositories i'll search for my portfolio repository and I hit next now when you do that Google will automatically you know uh, build kind of a webhook so that when you push code on your github repository it will you know fetch the latest code and redeploy the application now you can provide the branch that you want to look for and there are two ways to uh, you know build the application one is using docker file and second using you know uh, the default configuration of your application type 
so for example if i do here you know you can provide the build context where your code is uh, what's your entry point and other thing, things but if you know you go with this route you don't have to change anything google is smart enough to identify what kind of project it is and then you know build the application but what i suggest is that you choose a docker file and you know if you don't have docker file write a docker file or use open ai or clore to you know write the docker file for you yeah once you select that you hit save now if you come here there is uh, this required thing authentication so allow unauthenticated invocation and require authentication since this is my portfolio website i want everybody to access it so i'll click on allow unauthenticated invocation then this is kind of a, a serious thing i have checked on request based invocation so whenever someone requests on the url i only charge for the processing of the request if you click here instance based then you know you once you deploy it your billing will start then you know these are the scaling things then if you come down here there are few things about the container volume in case you want to attach uh, networking in case you want to do and few securities things but you know i suggest if you don't have knowledge of these things you don't you know change anything there but one interesting thing here is that under container under variables and secret you can provide your you know environment variables i have one environment variable i will very quickly provide that so i have kind of one variable here so i'll so i'm you know taking a youtube video from uh, youtube api so i'll do that and now i think all the things are set now i can hit create so this can take you know time depending on the type of application and the size of the application you see here all the things setting i am policy creating placeholder version you know routing traffic and creating this build trigger and everything is done now if i click here on the logs you will see you know all the logs streaming here so i have about 25 steps uh, in the docker file so it will follow all the steps and you know deploy the application this process is going to take time so you know i'll resume the video once this process is uh, completed you can see the process is successful and if i come here and hopefully refresh this i'm not sure yeah hopefully refresh it you see that you know i have a cloud run instance which is deployed just now and if i click here you can see my application is running successfully and somehow i'm not able to i guess get the latest video from my own channel these are the just placeholders but i'll look into that what was the issue and if you see here you will get the image url as well in case you want to use it somewhere else and the source as well so i guess this is how you can you know deploy your next js application on the gcp cloud run and you can see you know different metrics as well so yeah i guess uh, you know this is it from my side i hope you now able to deploy your own next js application on gcp cloud run if you face any issue please write down comment in the comment section of this video uh, the code i have used to build this uh, 
portfolio website is available on my github in case you want to use it you can get it from there and the link of it is in the description uh, finally i hope you have gained some out of this video and if you do so please consider subscribing to my channel that helps thank you for watching peace